From all angles, this is what many would call paradise on earth. Nestled in the south of Bali in Indonesia, you would think that this tropical haven just two hours away by plane from Singapore will be swamped with Singaporeans. But try as you might, there was none of that trademark Singaporean accent within earshot even as the 14-hectare resort is taken over by some 800 guests. And this is something the team at Club Med Singapore hopes to change. Club Med is one of those, uh, with it, you know, the all-inclusive um, package, which includes um, um, everything you need for a holiday, like all you know, buffet meals three times a day. Um, and then we have, of course, snacking uh, throughout the day, so there's always food and drinks available at any hour of the day, except in the wee hours of the morning full open bar, so all cocktails, all alcohol, all beer, all juices, all water um, is included in the package. Um, and then we have activities, um, all day activities, um, nightly entertainment, all inclusive concept being as, as, as inclusive as it is, uh, does come at a certain price premium, you know, and um, I think Singaporeans are just at the moment not used to the idea of paying for things that they, they don't quite exactly know about, you know, before they actually Consume it. The challenge for us in, in Singapore and in the region actually uh, is for people to become a bit more aware of what the all inclusive concept is. A quick glance at Club Med Singapore's website shows prices for a three day, two night Club Med holiday. Expect to pay about $470 for a weekender in Club Med Bintan and more than $1,000 to party at Club Med Bali. The prices are, of course, all inclusive. Price-conscious Singaporeans did bite the bait at the recent Natas Travel Fair where Club Med Singapore offered a 50% discount for the second travelling adult. The offer pushed up sales to $5.2 million in August, its highest ever. To put things in perspective, I mean, um, August 2009 this year uh, is, is in many ways right, still right smack in the middle of the economic crisis. And the travel industry has also been affected by the, of course, the, the effects of H1N1 virus uh, on travel. You know, and um, Nata's Fair, for example, with uh, the, the, the participation of more travel agents this year than, um, uh, or rather, I mean, the, the same amount of travel agents as last year, beat a uh, very modest eight uh, percent growth, which is which is very impressive. The month of August alone saw Singapore accounting for one-seventh of Clubnet's total sales and we, we took in bookings from 15,000 Singaporeans in that month alone. So I'm very happy to say I mean, more and more Singaporeans than ever before will get to experience Clubnet. Razor TV did manage to catch up with one Singaporean though, but he's there purely for business. We'll tell you what he's up to in the next clip.